Hello welcome back to this channel. If you are new here, my name is Dolin Strana. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to please subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications so that anytime I upload a video, you will be the first person to be notified. And to my returning subscribers, to those people that share my videos and also educate I, you guys are the real MVP. Alright lovelies, let's dive in into today's video. So lovely, so I came across this video on my for you page on TikTok and I thought to share with you guys because I find it super educating. You know how it is and how we do it here on our historical stuff and the historical part that we are not meant to know about, but we are just ended up knowing every fact. I'm just going to roll this brother as well as some of all the stitches I was able to put together because I think it's actually making a lot of sense. Please leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video and please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment. We are just here for educational and informative purposes. Alright lovelies, let's dive into it. You guys, I figured it out again. And this is about to blow your mind. Now, before I go into this rabbit hole, I have to give credit when credit is due. Rashad Jamal said that Caucasians came from a portal into our world, right? Now, we have to understand that he might have been correct and that they were really hiding history because history is his story. Now, the guy behind me, John Ronald Ruel Token, or you know him as J.R.R. Token, was a master scholar who wrote The Lord of the Rings. Now we all know that they hide truth in fiction. I believe that J.R.R. was trying to tell us the truth, but he did it in an imagery that in some circles was disliked, even though his books and his writings were wildly popular. And so the Lord of the Rings is basically like a secret fire where it talks about God originating the spirit, right? That stirs in the children of his children, right? To be able to build and create and be able to become closer to the Most High. And so his books put these obstacles in place so that the protagonist can grow and etc. But what makes this important is the fact that students of Freemasonry would not be unjustified in recalling at the same threads of imagery with Masonic traditions. Hmm. This would mean that J.R.R. Tolkien's his book of the Lord of the Rings is parallel with Masonic traditions. And they say that Freemasons hold the real truth. And for you to get that truth, you have you have to be a part of their group. And it would make sense if they have the hidden true history and hiding it from the rest of the world. This would make sense. And so J.R.R. Tolkien is kind of exposing the realities of our real reality through imagery. In the beginning of Lord of the Rings, if you ever seen the movie, I highly go recommend it. It talks about how the age of exploration around a certain time happened where white men traveled exploring the world in the quest for power. And so we will have to know that these stories are about Middle Earth and about creatures and about beings that come from inner earth that are interacting with humans. So now, if this is the human realm, inside of this ice wall, you have our continents, which is all one by the way, and not separated by water. Middle earth would be anything outside of this ring. Hence the realm of the Titans, 
right? Where J.R. Token is telling us that these behemoth creatures swim in these waters. Now, history is starting to prove that Caucasians started their existence after the 1500s, right? But before then, everything in this continent was considered black. And up until that point, between the late 1400s, early 1500s, no one in this landmass has ever seen a Caucasian or a white person. And I'm not talking albino because that is still a black person. Now, if God saved his lineage with the flood, right? Because they were making hybrid animals and damning the world, right? If he saved his lineage by flooding it and disposing of the hybrid land animals and all of the animal hybrids that were of the water, that water that dumped here pushed those animals out past this ring. And hence why the realm of the Titans is out in these deep waters is because the flood pushed those animals and now we're around the barrier of their circumcision of the ice which controls the currents in our world. And so Lord of the Rings talks about the age of exploration where these men on the Middle Earth outside are invading God's people. I believe these people that's organic to this realm are the Atlanteans because after the flood, God saved his people and all of these people are organic and they thrive off the sun, right? Caucasians are the only race that the sun impacts them negative, negatively, making it be known that they aren't natural to this ring inside of our world because everything that came organic here is shown that they have capabilities to coexist with the sun. So the fact that they don't, and the fact that J.R.R. Tolkien is talking about them exploring the new world from Middle Earth, if Middle Earth is outside and they talk about the portals, I give you an example. They talk about the dwarves, the elves. Um, these people hold ancient knowledge where they can augment weapons, right? And turn them stronger. And they just know magic and they know sorcery and stuff. So they can augment and use their former technology to create things that people have never seen on this side. Case in point, cloning. Case in point, the Lord of the Rings had what their enemies were cloning their people to go against the protagonists that's where these armies were coming from these armies were coming from middle earth and so they gathered up to fight all of these people all of these you know evil people that come from middle earth and so when you think about it this age of exploration when Caucasians started popping up in our world, they came through ships through here. They had this higher level technology because they're on the outer realms and the Lord of the Rings explains this. And so now you are looking at these outsiders that came into the realm of God's people. This is why God said to separate from them. This is why God said to not procreate with them is because they were created and cloned outside of God's commandment, outside of God's covenant. Because when he brought up his lineage with the flood, right, those who were destroyed or pushed outward, right, found a way to get back in. And when they found a way to get back in. Right. It was black people. Right. And I'm pretty sure when they came through or excuse me, on this side, when they came through on this side. Right. Europe 
is here, would be here, just right above Africa. So this is probably why the Europeans still have a hold on the world today through the Vatican is because those Caucasians on the outer walls probably stopped there first and probably tricked those black Europeans in that area to go against their own people for their technology and power. And Satan found a way to get in because the genetics of Caucasians is not of God. And the Lord of the Rings shines a light on this because these stories are from Freemasonry origins. Like seriously, lovely, is the good thing is that no matter how these people want to hide history, no matter how they try as much as they can, because of their thirst for power, their thirst for control, their thirst to take over, their thirst to actually be the number one, history, history is actually going to be history the real truth will eventually reveal itself one way or the other either through them through their stories in the movie through their books through anything of their endeavor it will come out one way or the other this is just a fact this is just you know something that has actually come to be and i think that these revolutions and all of the truths began to you know come up more especially this year this year has been you know a year of what i call it revolution a year of knowledge a year of everyone taking it more seriously now to find more about the the hidden truth, <laughs> everything that has to do with history, everything that has to do with, you know, life in general, revolutions. It is not even, you know, a long time ago that I think sometime early this year, Putin decided to, oh, he decided to declare that, okay, you all have actually been lied to for a very long time. I am just done pretending and lying. You know, Jesus Christ is actually someone of a darker skin complexion. You know, it's not the way at which it was portrayed. It's not the way, you know, the blue eyes, long hair, you know, Caucasian man and all of that. Just, that is just a step. Even before then, there are a lot of revolutions and uh, people have been trying to hide it. You know, they don't want it to come out and claim on up till Putin decided to declare it. And because of that, there are so many research, there are so many books, like the Bible is not actually the only book, you know, that is being out there. There are Enoch and all of that. And there are so many truths that, that I was hidden a very long time ago, thinking that this truth will just remain hidden. And this young man, I must actually commend him for his effort for his findings and all of that he talked about these vikings you know how these Caucasians and uh, there's one thing about truth there's no way you keep on hiding it that it would eventually come out to light you know they would try as much as they can to maybe do some kind of like create some movie storylines those are the historical hidden things that they are actually depriving um, the public from but they try as much as they can to just make it theirs like you know how it is as he said history is someone's history so I could vividly understand and remember the issue of the first people who actually existed on this planet Earth what happens to be black people there's what lady is a punk she's a punk club woman i think elliot jane elliot okay or something if i if i'm forgetting her name just read this comment section she was saying something about that but the way at which she explained it is very different from the actual 
what has been explained you know she talked about how okay black people were actually the first people and uh, after that they started migrating to a cooler environment a cooler country and that was how they become fairer and turn to caucasians and all of that meanwhile there are all those books and stories that these people they are actually you know formed by some fallen angels before you know it they were cast and they were living in the caucasus mountain from the caucasus mountain they decided that okay they are just done they are tired of living in the mountain why not just go to the land and that was when they now got to the land and over trump people infected them with diseases and all of that you know overthrown them <laughs> like history in general when i saw this video i found it super super educated and i decided to just bring it up here and guys if you watch up to this extent please do your girl a huge favor to click on the subscription button like this video and i will see you lovelies when i upload the next one I watch up to this extent thank you so much for all the love and support don't forget to please subscribe to this channel share this video leave a further comment section and i will see you love this when i upload the next one